Okay, well, hi. Welcome to Glitter 50. Yeah, I know. Two things. One, you can't see me. Two, um, my sink is not the prettiest. It's older and, you know, it has some chips and stuff in it. It's, it is what it is, but I'm going to show you my way of cleaning my brushes. Um, so I have these bling brushes, which you don't just, you know, you don't just dig into the soap. And then I have these that are dual sided. So I can't use my handy dandy little tool, which I'll show you later. And sponges obviously don't go in that. And this is what I use to put my foundation on. So I'm just going to show you the basics of this one. And then I'll show you the other stuff later. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me over this. This is, where's the lid? I don't know where the lid went. Anyway, this is the elf, this part anyway, is the elf blush or brush cleanser. And then this is a little bar of soap that has um, like scrubby on it. So I just put the two of them in there and get it wet. And then I get this wet. And I scrub on that part. And then I have this little cup because it takes a lot to get the foundation out of this. And since this is going into the, the sponges, you know, I automatically just have them sitting in there so that way it can, hey, shush you. It can just start setting in there for the sponges to get clean. Let's see, now I'm just going to leave that for a minute. And then I take these, however many I have of them. I have seven total, but I don't use them all the time because I have so many others too. So then I just swish it around swish swish sorry but that just gets it all soapy and because it has gems on it i don't want to just leave it in the water so i'm doing this and if you hear voices my husband and my mother-in-law are in the other room and they're doing their thing and my mother has, mother-in-law has COPD, so if you hear coughing, that would be the reason. Um, but yeah, so here we are just getting this part cleaned off, just like this. And because these two were just, I just basically used them for the liner. And I want to get them clean. See, I just, and because I'm cleaning them, I'm going to use that part too. But then I clean off the brush part. And I rinse off all of that. Make sure the whole brush part is no longer full of soap. Rinse it all off. And then I won't really dry them. I'll show you where I display them afterwards. So now I'm going to clean this part out. Sorry, I just took the camera. See how much soap comes out of that or how much foundation comes out of that here we go again scrub 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 because I basically want no foundation to come out of this you know because 
it's been on my skin. It has bacteria. You know, it's what helps break you out if you use dirty brushes and things. So, and I'll show you again how I display them to get them to dry. And then we just Clean out the sponges. Hold on. I'm just cleaning out these sponges. Okay, so now is the rest of the story. Who knows that quote? I'm hoping that this is recording. Um, so I use this, it's a, like a cupcake holder, and I just stand it up, and then I'll just lay my, how do I show you? So on the top one, there's not a whole lot of room for brushes, so what I'll do, I'll show you down here, but I put the sponges that I've just watch, washed on here, but I'll put them up, I'll put them up further, and then because I cannot use the thing I'm about to show you on these brushes or the two-ended brushes, I just lay them across here and that way I don't have to worry about using them or making a mess with them I just put them all here and then I leave them to dry like overnight so that way I don't have to worry about being in everybody's way and I can just set my stuff up and it'll be all right so I'm going to put that in its little area, and then I bring this out. Now I'm going to show you with the brush that I've already used, or I've already cleaned, I'm going to show you what I do. So here's, these have little that's not going to be enough. Um, this might be, yeah. That, uh, so you put, well, you put it on the handle. Now that's as far down as that one will go. This one will go all the way down on it, but it won't hold it right. So then you put the little attachment part in there. And this is what makes it so easy. Then you put this in and you be very careful. But then, I've already used soap and everything on this, so it should be pretty clean, but watch that water. So it cleans the brush. And it dries the brush so it looks like this and then you pull the whole thing off and look at that there's no there's not any leftover residue and it's dry to the touch. I still won't use this until much later. It's a dry enough I could use it right now, but I want to make sure that like all down in there is all dry, so I'm not gonna use that now. And now I'm gonna show you how to use this to just clean the brushes. So it comes with 
So this little brush cleaning set comes with all of these brush holders, all these attachments, comes with two pieces that look like this, one of these which is battery operated by two AAA batteries and I have a whole plethora of them that I get. So we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you where, I'm going to show you how to clean like this little brush. This is a brush from Junel & Co. And it does not have numbers or anything on it. So I just dip a little bit into there. A little bit more. Get that really saturated with the soap. And then stick it into that. Attach it onto here. And then I just it has little ridges on the bottom of this container this container right here so I scrub that a little on the bottom then I bring it up it's a little bit wet still I didn't give it enough time to wring out, but I wanted to check and make sure all the soap was out and it wasn't like dirty in there. Cause see, it looks it looks a little dirty, but that's just from wear usage, whatever you want to call it. So then I take that brush and I put it over on my holder. I'm not going to show you my whole kit and caboodle on brushes because I have obviously a few to wash but I want to show you one that's you know stained with a dark color I want to show you how that one actually comes out and then I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done all cleaning I'll show you the display with my sponges and brushes and show you all that so that's nice and cleaned and I don't do anything other than put it in here run it, run it along the bottom Look at those brushes. Yes, this part is a little dirty, but that part doesn't touch your face. And this is completely dry. There's no nothing. But it's not blue anymore. It's like a whitish tip. No blue coloring in there whatsoever. This thing, I don't even know the brand of it, but it has been the best thing that I have bought and it was like $19 on Amazon. So if I can find it and figure out how to link it, I will. I'll at least get the name of it and put it down below. But this is how I clean my brushes. Makes it so easy and I wait until I have enough of them to make it a day project for me. But that's the end of that part, and I'll show you the end results later. Alrighty, so I know, different angles. Today is a different day, and all this is how I have it all, like, setting off to the side, waiting to dry. And then the next day, I put it all away. Moving this, the brushes can shift. Um, they're they're not individually hung up but they're all dry and they're all clean so very nice so then I just put them all away I need a bigger 
face brush holder because yes I'm filling it up I actually have two of these but I really like this one because it has a penguin on it um, but yeah so then I have my sponges love this sponge by the way this is the um elf and chipotle it's the avocado and then these sponges this one and this black one i got from shein and they're amazing i have not used anything but the three of them for a couple months now um alrighty so now i'm going to continue putting my face brushes away. You have to be really careful because if you drop them, well, you know, obviously they're going to drop. These are my ones that I use when I do my bridal makeup. I just started doing that. I have a client and her mother. I'm going to be doing um, their makeup. I say client because it sounds funny, um, but I'm going to be doing their makeup here this month for her wedding sorry one dropped um but it's still perfectly clean um so yeah i'm just gonna take all of these off because then i don't have to worry about them dropping because i don't want these ones with the jewels especially to drop um so and that way I can take this away like I said it's just a cupcake that's a better view of it than yesterday but it's just a cupcake thing and I lay the brushes out as soon as I'm done washing them so that they will dry fully and not lose their shape so those are my oh, one more face brushes I'll try and work on that later um, but then then it comes to this bad boy this was a gift from my son and daughter-in-law it's meant for pens and things but as you can see obviously I use it for my brushes um, and I have certain ones that go in certain spots I yeah so my bling brushes have a spot all of their own they're too special to mix with other brushes and then i just slowly go through i'm not going to show you how i arrange all of my brushes but they all they all fit in here perfectly but that's how I clean my brushes. I hope you liked today's video. Please give it a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I will hopefully see you in my next one. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember, who's better than you? Nobody. Have a great day.